American Eagle uh, dress company. You see them in the malls. American Eagle Outfitters. Okay, they got a little uh, pamphlet wheel that says to their employees, you got to dress appropriately, particularly on the floor. Um, you got to dress neat. You can't dress, if you're a man, you can't dress like a woman and vice versa. You can't scare the customers. You can't, <laughs> if your name is Fred, you can't look like Dolly Parton. Okay? Transgender people come in, challenge. American Eagle folds. Yeah. Give me 30 seconds. You're absolutely Go. right on this one. Uh, they should have folded. They should. They got to get that out of there in New York gotta State. Got to get it out. Yes. Okay. So, so if identity. your name is Fred, you should be able to dress like Dolly Parton. Absolutely. Okay. You agree? No sequined bandeau top. You agree that if your name is Fred, you dress like Dolly Parton. Think, it's okay. I think they should, no. I think they should be able to be dressed appropriately and professionally. They messed up because their language wasn't right. Their on language the wasn't right. But no, you will. You if you own a, co a clothing corporation, you say you can dress like an Ewok if yes. you want. An you Ewok can walk has nothing in, to do with gender can, identity, which is what the law says. Well, gender Ewoks identity. have genders you cannot, too. You cannot discriminate based on gender. And okay. This is so if you're a man, you can dress like gender. a woman. Exactly. If you're a woman, you can dress like a man. That's all the right. law. All says. I want is a shirt. That's all I want. Right. So I'm just very confused. At a good price. All so I want is a shirt. How, how right. I gotta go, Will. You're